You want me to put that on my todger? This one's wife. Her delusion is huge. One of the key aspects of understanding why this one's wife behaves in the way that she does is to realise that she is deluded. There is no such thing as an objective reality. Reality is personal. What you see, what you taste, what you hear, what you smell, what you touch is given an interpretation by your brain. Therefore, you interpret the world around you in a way that is personal to you. Many of the things that your brain interprets, it interprets in a similar way to plenty of other people. So you have what is known as the shared majority perspective. That's because you and they have all evolved in a similar way. This one's wife has evolved in a similar way to you in the sense that if she eats something that's known as an orange, it will taste of orange to her in the way that it'll also taste of orange to you. However, because of her narcissism, one aspect of the way that she sees the world is fundamentally different. And that's through the prism of her narcissism, whereby she sees things around her through a lens of control. Is that person under control or not under control? It also causes her to see herself in a different light, whereby she sees herself as more beautiful, more impressive, more talented, more able than she actually is. This is the deluded aspect of the narcissism, because it needs to do that to power the narcissist to believe that they are superior so that they pursue the prime aims with maximum effect. By believing that she is brilliant at giving speeches, she will then give those speeches to lots of people so that they will then respond by way of demonstrating they're under control and giving her fuel, and that manages the facade. By causing her to believe that every man wants to sleep with her, that causes her to behave in a fashion so that it enables her to assert control over those men and draw fuel from them. Thus, the delusion of the narcissist very much causes a purpose. It allows the narcissist to function in a particular way so that the pursuit of the prime aims is done to the maximum of effect. There are lots of different delusions that exist with differing narcissists. The delusion of popularity, the delusion of brilliance within a particular field, for instance, that they are particularly adept at sports. The delusion of being a brilliant public speaker. The delusion of being particularly clever. Now let it not be forgot that there are many narcissists that are actually very good looking, are brilliant at sport, are fantastic public speakers, are highly intelligent. So there are narcissists where there is substance that backs up their beliefs. But for many narcissists, they don't have such an advantage. And it is similar for this one's wife, these delusions are at their strongest amongst lesser and mid-range narcissists. As you know, this one's wife is a middle-mid-range narcissist. Accordingly, she's not particularly good at speeches. She has no original thoughts to offer. She's not particularly intelligent. She's not humorous. She's not charismatic. But the delusion causes her to believe all of those things so that she propels herself to assert control over people, draw fuel from them, etc. And one of the strongest delusions that exists with regard to this one's wife is with regard to her physical appearance. Now, it would be unfair to say, to describe her as ugly. She isn't. But nor is she stunning, nor is she heart attack beautiful. There are plenty of women that are not as good looking as her, and there are lots that are better looking than she is. But of course, her narcissism causes her to believe that she is stunningly and radiantly beautiful. Furthermore, it also deludes her into believing that she is a fashion icon. And it causes her to believe that whatever she puts on, she looks absolutely brilliant in. Now, again, in the interest of fairness, there are some outfits that she's worn, which she does look good in them, and they suit her. But she has a lot of misses, far more misses than you might ordinarily do for someone who's got access to stylists, though ignores them, and, of course, someone who has the amount of money that she has. 
Furthermore, with an emphasis upon her public appearances and, of course, the somaticism of her narcissism, you would expect that she would look in every public appearance drop-dead gorgeous. She doesn't. She's regularly known for wearing some real fashion abominations, items that don't fit, items that are creased, items that don't suit her. But she doesn't see this. I've explained it before, and I'll explain it again, because people keep on wondering it. Why does she dress as she does? Doesn't she own a mirror? The fact is, she looks at herself in the mirror through that distortion field, which tells her, you look great. Think about it. She doesn't put on an outfit which is ill-fitting and then go, well, I look shit in it, but you know what? I'll wear it anyway. Of course not. She looks at it and thinks, yeah, I look fantastic, because her narcissism makes her believe that she looks fantastic. Plenty of other people will look at it and think, no, that doesn't fit, that doesn't match, that doesn't suit you. But she can't see that, because her narcissism won't let her. She believes that every item that she puts on makes her look amazing. Indeed, that she believes that she enhances every fashion item that comes her way. And this level of delusion has continued because another PR puff piece has evolved from town and country, this time telling us this one's wife's style evolution. See all of the Duchess of Sussex's best looks here. And this was published just recently. The article continues stating, with her striped blazers and crisp button-downs, this one's wife quickly became fashion's preppiest new it girl when she first started dating Prince Harry. We are chronicling her standout style moments here, from her iconic royal wedding ensemble to her various royal tours and the outfit this one's wife chose to introduce baby Archie to the world. Here, our favourite fashion looks from the Duchess of Sussex. And thus it's described as all of her best looks. And there is a remarkable 213 slides, each one with a description of what she's wearing, where she was, and in some instances links to me links to enable you to purchase the items yourself. So, a catalogue of her fashion. I haven't included every single item, as we will be here until Christmas, but I've included many of the items that have been suggested as her best looks. So I suggest you settle back and get ready to see if some of your for Sean favourites in relation to this one's wife form part of this deluded wardrobe. You will see that to describe some of the items that are about to come up on your screen as her best looks demonstrates just how deluded she is. Let the fashion commence. <laughs> 